A warm welcome to all my students. Today I will teach you about rural development. In this chapter you will learn about meaning and significance of rural development. Rural development and decentralization. Then rural development and Panjayat Raj institution. Last, rural development and women. So these are the four topics which we will be learning in this lesson. India is a land of villages. According to 2011 census report, 68.84% of population lived in villages. Mahatma Gandhi ji said, the development of its village is a true development of India. Is that clear children? So remember, according to the census of 2011, you have to remember 68.84% of people lived in village, villages. And the next one is regarding the statement which was given by Mahatma Gandhi ji. So remember the statement that is often asked in the exam. A development of its village is a true development of India. Was said by whom? It was said by Mahatma Gandhiji. Is that clear children? The next we will start with, with the introduction. Development strategies were implemented by Indian government after the independence, which promoted which promoted industry and urban development. So, after independent, Indian government implemented many programs. In that, if you see, they only promoted industry and urban development, which led to the decline of rural industry. Rural industry was already declining. After implementing of these development programs, what happened? The rural industries were affected and they started to decline. As the rural industries started decline, people lost their job. And due to this, rural people started to migrate to cities. So remember here, the first thing is, the Indian government will introduce development strategy to promote industry and urban development. So as they give importance to industry and urban development, rural industry which already started declining, as they were not able to compete with the modern industry, they started to decline. So finally what happened? People started losing the job. So rural people started to migrate to cities. So this was a situation in the rural area. Poverty has increased among the rural people who mainly depend on agriculture. Poverty was a major problem in the rural area who were depend upon agriculture. Here the next point is regarding national income. 60% of population where depend upon primary sector. Primary sector means agriculture. 60% of people worked in agriculture. But their contribution towards national income was very less. So as day, year by year it started declining. 60% of population worked in the primary sector but their contribution towards national income was very less. And year by year it started declining. Due to this, there, gap by, there was a gap between rural and urban people. So this widened the gap between urban and rural people. Now here it is necessary to overcome this imbalance and try to develop rural area. So in this chapter, you will learn about rural development. So first remember here about 
First remember hear about the Indian government introduce development strategies regarding regarding the development of industry and urban development due to that rural industry declined and they were not able to compete with the modern industries and after that what happened is here when they started when the rural industry started declining people lost their job and they started to migrate to the urban area that is cities they started to migrate the cities so next one is the major problem which existed in the rural area was poverty mainly people who depend upon agriculture and nearly 60% of population depend upon primary sector but still their contribution towards national income was very less with us one more problem was there that is government had introduced the policy of globalization and liberalization this still widened the gap between rural and urban area to overcome this imbalance it is necessary to develop rural area now shall we study what is rural development children meaning of rural development Rural development refers to a process of economic and social upliftment of rural area. It may be defined in this way also: overall development of rural area to improve the quality of life of rural people. Is that clear? Where we are trying to develop the people in rural area. socially economically politically and spiritually in all sphere we are trying to develop the rural people where we can say a complete rural development once we have a complete rural development that means our country is developed so that is what overall development in rural area is that clear children have you understood the definition once again Rural development refers to a process of economic and social upliftment of rural area. Or you can also define it in this way: overall development of rural area to improve the quality of the life of rural people. Is that clear, children? The next one. The next. let me list out what and all a development activity has to take place in the rural area okay we will list out what are the development first we will list it out and then we will see what the government has done so we will list it out few here few points here first one is development of human resource development of human resource in two main field we are giving importance one in education that is literacy and the next one is health here so education that is literacy especially female education and the education as well as skill has to be developed so in education we have to give importance for the female education as well as skill development next one regarding the health here where we are addressing sanitization as well as we are giving importance for public health at least a primary health care should be there in the rural area and a cleanliness environment should be maintained in the rural area so this is what we want to develop in the human resource is that clear children second point land reform there should be a reform in the land that is land reform a third point is regarding development of the productive resource in all the localities each and every locality we want to have a productive resource that means production has to be given importance in every localities the next is regarding infrastructure that is you can see electricity irrigation credit market transportation mainly we are going to concentrate on road transport and with that we want to also have agriculture research and extension so these are the thing what you have to develop in infrastructure 
and the last point is regarding specific program should be implemented in rural area poverty so totally five points we learned first one development of human resource and that you remember education and health education female education and skill has to be developed there and health when we talk sanitization and public welfare public health and the next one is land reform second one is regarding land reform third one is productive resource of each locality and the next that is fourth point you will be learning about infrastructure i told you which are the infrastructure has to be developed in the rural area poverty we have to introduce a special programs is that clear children so these are the points which we have listed out to develop rural area now we will learn why it is so much important for the rural development is that clear so you can see the picture here what all has to be developed in the rural areas so here we have to give more importance of cultivation of crop in the modern technology the next one is what type of irrigation facilities we have to have a land reform activities and the health care centers so these we have to concentrate here now we will learn about importance of rural development why do we give so much importance to rural development and all of you know that in the rural development which is a important activity taking place or which is a important occupation there or which is a main occupation in the rural area it is mainly agriculture so agriculture is a main occupation people in rural area so what we will learn rural in the rural area agriculture and non agriculture has to be developed so first we have to concentrate on agriculture activity as well as non agriculture activity has to be developed in a rural area once we develop these agriculture and non agriculture activities that will lead an increase in farm income is that clear sir it will increase a farm income once this farm income is increase that will increase a demand for industrial products first farm increase farm income will increase then it will increase the industrial products demand for the industrial product will increase and the next simultaneously you will see a increase in service sector service here means it is bank education health insurance these will come under service sector so these development activities will take place when there is a development in agriculture and or non agriculture development so remember once when we develop agriculture and non agriculture development there will be increase in farm income and when there is increase in farm income the demand for the industrial product will increase and service sector so when all these are increasing naturally you can see that there is a increase for employment opportunity when we see all the side there all the sphere it is increased so there will be a employment opportunity when there is employment opportunity starts increasing that means there will be development in two field mainly there will be a development in literacy and skill level is that clear so when there is employment opportunity people get job and they will get money that means they will concentrate on literacy as well as the skill level of higher productivity will start increasing and the next most they will concentrate on their health so you understood children these are the aspects first one agriculture activity and non agriculture activity will increase and that will lead to increase of farm income when that increases the farm income increases there will be a great demand for industrial product industrial product will increase means service sector also will increase and that will create employment opportunity and that will lead to development of literacy skill 
as well as health. Does that clear children? The next. The next one is, as I told you, non-agricultural activity has to be concentrated in the rural area. Non-agricultural activity is like agro, agro processing, small scale and cottage industries. Is that clear children? Agro processing, small scale industry and cottage industry has to be developed in the rural area. Once when all these industries are developed, so people will not migrate to cities because they will get the job in these industries itself. So it's not necessary to migrate to the city. So people in rural area will stay here itself. They will not migrate to city. They will stay in the rural area itself. So we will avoid the migration. Transformation of people from one place to another can be avoided when we start developing these sort of industry in the rural area. And the most important, we will be able to eradicate or put an end to poverty. So remember, when all these industries are developed, we can avoid migration and put an end or elevate the problem of poverty. Yes, our clear children. So importance of rural development. See, when we develop the rural area, that is agriculture and non-agriculture are concentrated and it is developed, then we can increase farm income. Now tell me student, when we increase the farm income, what will be the next development? Demand for industrial product and the service sector. Once we increase the demand for the industrial product and the service sector, that will increase employment opportunity. When employment opportunity increases, that will lead to the growth of literacy and skill level and the health. And most important, the industry which has to be developed in the rural area, small scale industry and cottage industry. When these industries are developed, people will not migrate to cities. They will not migrate to cities and you can see that we will be able to elevate poverty. Is that clear children? So these are the points what you have learned in importance of rural development. Is that clear children? Now we have learned two topics today. One is meaning of rural development and the next one is importance of rural development. These are the two topics which you have learned today. So first question is explain the meaning of rural development. Remember you have to write two definitions. So you know before, before the independence and after the independence also what are the problem had the rural people faced and for that what uh, we have to get the rural development here and what is the meaning of rural development has to be explained. Two definition was given. Both the definition has to be written. A process of, remember, a process of economic and social upliftment of rural area. And next one is overall development. These are the two definition has to be written for the first question. Now second question, how is the economic situation in the rural area of India? This is the government implementing development strategy after independence that to promote industry and urbanization. That will be your first point. Second one you will write about rural industry which already, ex uh, which already declined. Okay, you will write about the rural industry which already declined and lost its importance because it was not able to compete with the modern industries. And next you will write people started migrating to cities. And next you will write globalization and liberalization. After that you will write about the poverty. And the next one is national income. And which led to widen the gap between rural and urban area. So these are the points what you have to write. Which was taught in the introduction part. Explain all these. Is that clear? Sir? And next one is regarding the significance, the word significance is nothing but importance of rural development that is agriculture and non-agriculture activity, farm income, demand for the industry product, service sector, employment opportunity and then you will write about the uh, education that is literacy and skill, health 
and the last one you will write about people will not migrate to other cities because of the development of industries in rural area so that is the reason why we give importance to rural development once our rural has been developed our complete our country will be called as a developed country is that clear children i think today whatever i have thought you have understood so thank you children and next session i will take two more topic thank you